ओम नमस्ते इन दिस एपिसोड लेट सी वन प्लस वन इज इक्वल टू टू इज देर ए प्रूफ फॉर दिस हाउ इज इट रिलेटेड टू वेदास आई एम वेंकटा आर चागंटी प्रेसिडेंट वेदास वर्ल्ड इंक जॉर्जिया यूएसए वॉट इज एन एक्सियम हाउ इज इट रिलेटेड टू दिस एपिसोड An axiom is a proposition regarded as self-evidently true without proof. That is, it's a proposition. It's it appears to be self-evidently true without any proof. No proof is given to that. Such a thing is called an axiom. So, how is that related to this episode? Let's see. Piano's axioms, nineteenth century, was a mathematician that time. Addition is a function that maps two natural numbers to one another. That is, to another one. So addition is a function. So he defined it's an axiom that is one plus one gives you some number. Now let's call it as two. That's what is the meaning of this. So one plus one is equal to two is an axiom, but there is no proof that one plus one is equal to two. It's it, it is some number. That's what it is. So earlier to nineteenth century, was there no addition and subtraction? It was there. You all know that. So let's see. earliest usage of 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 to know who first used or proved the addition 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 we should know who first define numeric system that is 0 1 2 3 4 up to 9 let us see what our historians and academicians say laplace was a great mathematician and physicist uh, between 1749 and 1827 one of the formulas which newton gave uh, the speed of sound uh, was uh, not correct so laplace corrected it with the help of uh, laplace correction and uh, he was such great he could correct newton also so whatever i talk now will be from this website and the authors of that uh, article given in the website is uh, o'connor and robertson let's see what these authors have to say about the number system we should say clearly that the huge debt is the beautiful number system invented by the indians on which much of the mathematical development has reset and you know, resided so therefore laplace put this with great clarity so same statement but laplace gave the great clarity the ingenious method of expressing every possible number using a set of 10 symbols each symbol having a place value and absolute value emerged in india so they all know that the number system has come from india including addition subtraction multiplication division that's what is called method of expressing every possible number so its simplicity lies in the way it facilitated calculations and placed arithmetic foremost amongst useful inventions so whatever inventions were there the most useful invention was the the arithmetic which depends on the number system it was emerged from india but how did it emerge from india how the mathematics mathematicians of india could do that let's see the same article again same authors histories of indian mathematics used to begin by describing the geometry contained in the sulabha sutras 800 bc according to the authors the sulabha sutras were 800 bc also pythagoras theorem was present in sulabha sutras already so pythagoras i don't know whether he is the uh, inventor or not but sulabha sutras already contain but research into the history of the indian arithmetic has shown mathematics has shown that the essentials of this geometry were older being contained in the altar that is yagna vedi construction described in the vedic texts such as satapata brahmana and the taittiriya samhita these two are not vedas but they are the commentaries on vedas so they contain the geometry the geometry contains number system and number system was already present in india so prior to 800 bc much earlier so this mantra which is from ajur veda which is the 24th mantra of ajur veda from the 18th chapter so this mantra states ekachame tisrascame tisrascame so this mantra states that eka means one one when you add it to another one it becomes two similarly three when you add it to three it becomes 
6. Similarly, 3 multiplied with 3 becomes 9 and so on. So, this mantra gives all odd numbers from, you know, 1 to some good numbers. So, therefore, this mantra is the fundamental or the basis for number system. So, there are no even numbers present in this mantra. But the next mantra, the 25th mantra of the 18th chapter of Yajurveda gives even numbers also. So, this mantra states how to think about numbers. So, mantra means thought. So, God gave in Vedas this particular mantra stating how we should think about the number system. So, in taking this, Indian mathematicians have explained how a number system can be developed, how 1 plus 1 should be equal to 2 and so on. So, this is the axiom for that. So, we can say that Vedic mantras are axioms that is they are self-evident, they don't require any proof. But whatever it says, based upon this mantra, Indian mathematicians developed mathematics and based on that, now huge mathematical structure has been developed. Thank you for watching this video, Vedas World Inc. Thanks you all. Oh.